cute and relatively quick face or head for your balloon people. Here's another one with ears. So I'll show you how to make this one and then this one with ears. I was just playing around and um, this six petaled flower out of the 160, I basically just turned it into a rose and turned it upside down. So that's what I did there. I'm not going to do that on this video, but I will show you how to make this head with the ears and then one without the ears. And if you put them on these little bases, this could be a microphone, which is cute too. So let's get started. And what you need for this is a blush or whatever color you want the head. 260. So this 260 has a four finger tail, which is about three inches. And the trick to this design is having a balloon that's mushy. So this is nice and mushy. You want it pliable and mushy. So make sure before you tie your balloon, let air out so that it's nice and mushy. Okay? And um, also, make sure you stretch it first because we want it just a little bit on the longer side to get the cool design. So what you want to do is start with a cherry tomato sized bubble and that will be your balloon person's nose. So twist this around, hold it here, and then we're going to stretch this knot up and pull the knot really tight and turn it. I'm pulling that knot real tight so that the nose stays in, right like that. And then you can leave go. Now what we want to do is we're going to make the loop. Let me show you here. So this is his nose. We're going to make this loop that goes around his head right here. And for that, we're going to go around four fingers. So. You're just going to tuck four fingers in there. That's kind of tight, so I'm going to give it a squeeze here and here. You want to go a little on the mushy side. You do not want like a lot of air in there really tight. So if that's the case, you can hold your balloon here and here and here and just squeeze it, and it'll start filling that out. So around four fingers, right like that, and then take this pinch twist and flip it through so that that doesn't come undone. And now what we need is this part back here. This this part that runs down here in the middle. Can you see it? This part right here. What we're gonna do is make that four fingers. So I'm gonna hold my hands here and then right up above that, I'll give that a twist. And now I'm still holding this and then we wanna make a loop. So it's gonna be around five fingers. And you want this loose, so maybe like a six finger would fit in there. It's just going to go around. But see, again, I want this mushy, so I'm going to give a little squeeze. Make sure that's mushy. So five fingers should fit loosely in this loop. So four, a pinch twist, four fingers. Inside this loop, four fingers here, and five fingers in this loop. So this is what you have. Okay? So try to remember this. It's like a double basketball hoop or something, and this hoop's smaller. Just think of something in your head that you can remember this to make this design. And the next thing we need is going to be his lower jaw or his, you know, bottom lip, his, his mouth right here. And you can draw on this. I didn't. I just I want, you know... You can use your imagination and come up with the idea. Your your head will draw that in its mind for people. And you don't have to draw a mouth or anything. Because that looks like his chin and his mouth is there anyway. So anyway, <laughs> this part is what comes next. And for that, that goes right into the same crack as this one. So what we're going to do is squeeze this up. Here and here you hold, not just here, but here and here to give that a little squeeze to make it go to the end. And then we want this to be uh, about three or four fingers of a neck just because you're going to want like a little bubble. So you, you want to twist this and give them like a little Adam's apple whenever we put them on the body. So what we're going to do is just twist this around. This is going to get twisted into the same crack. Whatever's left, just 
just bring this up about like four four fingers. So four finger bubble on the end, and then just twist it around. So it's like that double basketball hoop with like a loop in the back, or just think of something, whatever you can to to remember that. And that's all you need to make a head. And you're like, that does not look like a head. But I'm going to show you now how we turn this silly little thing into a head. So if it's mushy enough, that's what you want. We're going to take the larger basketball hoop and tuck it into the top hoop. Uh, and, and one more thing. Before the larger basketball hoop gets separated in half. That's just so you can add the hair on the top, okay? So we, we separated the top of this. You can do it after you tuck it through. It doesn't matter. And then the larger loop gets tucked up through this top loop, tucking it up just like that. Now here's his nose. This is the top of his head. These are where his eyes go. And then... Here's his neck. And before, we're going to tuck this back in between here. But before you do that, you want to take this. I'm pushing with my thumb. And I'm going to open this up. These are his cheeks, actually, right here. So they're going to get pulled out to the sides. See, it looks like a frog from this side. So I'm going to tuck. I'm pushing his chin. I know you guys are like, what the heck is she doing? But <laughs> I'm trying to show you. It's a little tricky on the video. But this is what I have here. And then I'm tucking this in. Push, push this down. And then open these up and tuck it in. So if it's mushy, it should be fine. And then you just stuff it in there and pull the cheeks out to the side. Just practice a couple times and you'll have it. And he's done, see? But his nose is crooked, so I'm fixing it. Now. And so this is what the back looks like. And this is the front. And this is your little guy's face. And you can, and you can adjust it however you want. But this is his face. And now we're gonna give him some eyes. And what we want for his eyes is a white 260 with about a four finger bubble. This was like a three finger bubble and I squeezed it, like pushed it out and separate it in half. Pull these two things up, twist them around and then push this knot through the center. So you have this and I like to turn these two bubbles together to pinch twist them and flip this one around and then tie this knot right there in this crack. And I'll tie it two times, and just like that. And then I wanna cut it off a little bit lower, like that. Give yourself some slack so you can put it on your little guy. So, I don't want to put it on there like permanently because I'm going to use these eyes for the next one with ears. And I'll, I'll make that one a little quicker just because it's the same thing that he has ears, but I'll show you. So basically just hold this little white thing in the back, bring it up under the nose, like in the front, pull it down through the back, up through the nose, and then back into the back. And then just leave go of it. And then it's on there. So right like this, and then for his hair, you just take a 160, tie it at the ends. This is really mushy too for the hair. And you wanna tie it, or you wanna inflate it down lower. Give yourself some room, cause we're not gonna like struggle to put his hair on. That'll make it a lot easier to stick his hair on. So then tie these together. Make sure you let a puff of air out of that before you tie it. Give it a, t a tie there. I'm not going to tie it twice because we're going to twist it all together anyway. So it has this for the knot where I can attach it to the head. Make a six petal flower. You separate that in half and roll it through. And then twist this. When you zigzag that, put your thumb in here and over here. 
say? Ah, it came on them. That's funny. Okay. So like this, and then push it together and turn it. And now you have this knot left over right here. And if you left it long enough right where you tied it, then you can easily attach it here. All you do is go up under this crack right here, pull it to the back, bring it up to the top, pull it, pull on it tight, and then just wrap it around a couple times. Some of those loops and leave go of it. You can hide it in there if you want, it doesn't matter. And here's our little guy. And I am not gonna draw his eyes on yet because I'm gonna borrow them for the other one just to make the video so it's not like five hours long. So there's your little guy's head. Now let's make a body. And I made this body before and I even showed it on um, a Facebook Live before for Mickey Mouse, but I do this body. And what we're gonna do is make a pinch twist, the cherry tomato size pinch twist bubble. I'm gonna go a little quicker here just so I can get to the head. I mean, the main thing I wanted to show you was the head, but I'll show you this body. And then, I'll squeeze that hair up. This had um, a five finger tail on it. Twist the foot, flip the pinch twist through. You can give him kneecaps if you want. And however long you want his leg, I'll make it about six fingers. Twist it, make a pinch twist. Make a little three finger bubble, a pinch twist. And then you can give him a little kneecap. I'm gonna bend that and then twist this leg the same length as the other leg. A pinch twist in the back for his heel and then make this loop around three fingers just like it did for the other one. And then I'll flip the pinch twist through so it doesn't come undone. So I have this. Then you can attach these just to keep his legs together. Like make a little bubble in between here. So I, I cut the end of this off. I mushed it down, chopped it off so that it didn't pop and I'm holding a little bubble of air here. It's really hard to show you. I should have picked a different color of balloon for the pants because the black one seems like hard to show you. There's a bubble and I'm just gonna pull that around this pinch twist so that the feet stay together and you can't really see that. So that's how you can keep feet together if you make it are making a little person. Now what we're gonna do is make his shirt. I hope you guys are following along okay. And for this, we're gonna make two cherry tomato sized bubbles. It's about one and a half fingers. There it goes. <laughs> Carry on. Okay, so two cherry tomato sized bubbles that are pinch twisted. And I'll bend a little elbow and I like to flick that out. And if it's tight, just squeeze it towards the end. There's his elbow. And this will have about four fingers, well about three and three. So about six fingers, three here and three here. And then a cherry tomato size bubble pinch twisted for the shoulder. To do a four finger bubble to the side of his shirt. Wrap it around the pinch twist on the side. Three finger bubble that runs along the bottom. Turn that together. And then this is getting tight again, so I'm gonna give a little squeeze. Four finger bubble here. And a cherry tomato size pinch twist, but these get twisted together right here. So that's where you're gonna put the head on. So twist those together. And then see how there's a little hole? If that's bugging you, just make two, um, two bubbles that are a little bit smaller. Now, if these are four fingers and four fingers, you can make two three finger bubbles. Twist them together, and you're gonna tuck them in the center of the body, right like this. I still have to discover which colors are the best to um, show you guys how to make some of these things that I'm making. Because I think some, some colors come up better on camera. Okay, so then we're gonna do three and three again, and just, Flick that out, put an elbow in there, and then twist it, and put two cherry tomato sized bubbles. And this is getting pretty tight, but it still works. So I get to show you guys how I cut 
and also let the air out of a tight bubble like this without making a big shebang. So I'm not gonna snap pop that off because that's gonna sound really loud, but I'm gonna mush the end way down like this and I have just a little piece of red sticking out. I'm just gonna cut that off at the end. Now let the air out. I do find that sometimes there's powder in the balloon, so when I let the air out, I hold it away. Hold it away from your face, just so you're not breathing that in. And then knot this and wrap it around. So I have that. And then, this, I'm going to make little hands for them. And I do the same thing as eyes. Sometimes for hands, you could just twist up a couple hands if you're going to make a lot of little characters. Pull your hands and your eyes out of the bag. Keep them in the freezer. You, you've got them made. Five fingers. Tie it together like this. Make it like kind of a mushy loop. A um, mushy loop looks like an ear. And I'm giving that a good tie. And you don't really need to tie that twice because we're going to just twist that bubble around. And then cut off above the knot. Right, right like that. And then... Squeeze one of the loops. You're just gonna basically push this down and twist it. But one of the loops is gonna be a little bigger than the bottom one, just for the hand, and then twist it right around into these two pinch twists, right like that. So you have that. And do the same thing here and twist this around. Now our next guy's gonna get the same body. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you. So I would twist this. I mean, you, I'm not putting pinch twists in here because one, I kind of don't have enough room and two, I'm trying to show you guys a quick head design. The quicker the better. So you can twist a little bubble and have it right up here. You can, you can tie and knock this off and put it right, right onto the body. Ah, one little body here. So it's like right next to it, or you can twist the bubble up, and that's what I'll do. So I'm gonna push the air up, and then right like this, and wrap it around. But I'm gonna need this body, so I don't want it on there permanently, but there's your little guy and his little Adam's apple. You can put the Adam's apple in the back, you can make it bigger, you can twist the smaller bubble, it does not matter. And on this one, Take a blush 260 and pull it, but this one's going to be a five finger tail instead of a four finger because we're going to put ears on. So again, we're going to start with the nose <clears throat> and twist that and pull the knot, turn it. <clears throat> and then we're going to make uh, the front right here. There's one. I took his eyes out already, but we're going to make this part right here and then we're gonna do ears. So what we wanna do, make sure this is tied pretty good. I'm gonna tie that, I'll knot it around so it doesn't unspin on me. And make a three finger bubble. And then a cherry tomato size bubble. And pinch twist that for the ear. It's gonna be relatively short. And then for the back, we're gonna make about five fingers. So we'll hold it right up against this pinch twist and then right up above my thumb, put a twist in there. And then we'll make another pinch twist for the other ear. And then a tiny bubble, which is like a short three finger bubble, <laughs> two and a half fingers. It's just gonna be the same size as this one. Pull it together and flip that around. So it looks like this. <clears throat> and now we're gonna make a four finger bubble. Hold it right up to there. And twist right in front of there. And then we're going to make our loop, our big basketball hoop loop. Okay? So, add that, squeeze it up a little. And then it's going to be like five fingers. And a, and a loose five fingers right like that. That fits in there. Twist that around. You can flip it through if you want. And then we'll make the chin bubble. So squeeze that up so that's going to be your neck. Just give yourself enough room to separate that and twist it onto the, the neck of your body. 
and then we'll twist this around. See, this little loop has about two or three fingers in it, and the key here is mushy again. So we have this weird looking thing. Now we're gonna turn it into a head. And how are we gonna do that? <laughs> what we're gonna do is take this teddy bear head and this longer loop, we have to separate that. Remember to put the hair on, twist it at the top like that. Now it's gonna get tucked up through the teddy bear head like that. And then our chin again is gonna get tucked in to this part part that runs down like right here that's that's what this is is that popping out so put your hair on if that's happening to you now there's no way my bubbles can this can pop out while I'm tucking in his chin so here's his chin I'm gonna tuck it in yep see that works and there's the back of the head Here's this. And his cheekbones are up really high. Maybe you want him to have high cheekbones. Doesn't matter. Put this in. Pull it to the back. Pull it down here. Down here. Come up in the front. And wrap it up around the nose. And, and then into the back again. You, get, you can't even like tuck it around the ear if you want. You don't have to. It doesn't matter. You can tuck his eyes in. You can even tuck his eyes into his head if you want. Basically, what? Well, well, I know there's eyes and hair, but you don't have to add like a bunch of other stuff. So here's this, and it looks kind of detailed, so it's kind of cool. You know, for something different. That's all. And I am. Um, I have some. No, <laughs> his name's Popeye now, but I have some of this elaborate stuff in my advanced course. So when his ears are on and his eyes are in, what you're going to do, we're just going to pretend now, you're going to twist the neck, so I popped his eye, and then twist it right around, right like that. 